just started. Who's half again? Uh, LaSalle PW. Okay, cool. Email is sent. Are we supposed to show video? Um, I don't think you need to. Did you want to get the email? Yeah, I got it. I'm downloading it. Let me open it up. Do you have any questions? Regarding Paradigm? Uh, no. I'm good to go. Alright, I just need like one more minute. Did you look at their case list? No, I mean, did you bring them on in? I have to mute. Give me a second. Okay, okay. I'm muted. Thank you. 
Okay, I'm ready for CX now. There are three minutes starting now. Okay, let's start this no theory and the underview stuff. So, what happens if you read, like, evaluate the debate in the 1AC and the underview? Can I just not respond to it? Um, so, there's no theory that states that. In the well, underview. yeah, but this is a norm, right? It says no theory on the underview. Like, I just categorically can't read theory on the underview. So, can't you just be infinitely abusive? Um, sure, you can read theory on the underview, I guess. Okay, great. So, we're so unless something that the app did is abusive, you should... Wait, to clarify, it. you're kicking this spike. I can read theory on the underview. Um, you can read theory against abusive things on the underview, but it's still necessary to beat back T in theory than right in the 1 and C. Okay, whatever. Um, you have to prove abuse. Yeah. Great, so let's talk about this disclosure violation. So, sure. um, isn't everything I read on the wiki... Um, the interpretation that I extempt outside of what's on the doc. Wait, you extempted an interpretation? 
I accepted the end of the interpretation. Okay. Um, Do you want me to restate it? It's fine. No, it's pretty critical to what you're asking. Yeah, sure, what is it? They have to be open source under the round in which you read them according to your, like, round uh, report. Wait, so I have to open source something every single round I read it, even if, um, like, I already read it before? We say that you have to open source the entire of every constructed speech you read. So even if I've, wait, 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 wait. So even if I've read, like, an NC five times before, I still have to open source that exact same NC if I read it. Yes, you're around Okay, great. Like, so you can great. look at the screenshot. Oh, great. Wait, wait, wait. Great. You can great. look at the screenshot. It yes, says NC. I know. You, I know, like, I, know I can look at the screenshot. I, wait, I, don't know I, know I, I know I can look at the screenshot. Um, let's talk about your wiki now. So, sure. first of all, how do you not violate this interpretation given that you didn't have this doc open source before, to me before the round? it says 30 minutes before this. the round. Yeah, but that seems to vi not violate, that seems to violate your interpretation. Like, because it just says so, 30 minutes before the round. Um, sure, you should prefer the spirit over the text of the interpretation. Um, wait, why? That wasn't, where is that justified? It's an argument that I'm making right now. You can't make arguments in cross -ex. I mean, okay. The reason why I don't violate it is because I asked you for your open source positions, you didn't provide them, and you don't need on the wiki. You never asked for full disclosure of the 1AC. But if it's a norm, shouldn't you be doing it anyway? Uh, no. Wait, 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 what? So, you can just choose not to violate your interp, and I have to force you to violate your interp is what you're saying. No. That seems to be what you're We're saying. talking about previous positions that are broken. You don't disclose okay. them, which is inherently abusive. Yeah. Great. Um, prep, that stops. Um, stop that. Prep starting now. Stop prep, 30 seconds taken. Um, ignore the second off, I'm not reading anything there. It's gonna be titled TOC round one. I'm just replying all. The order is five off. <laughs> but, sure, it's five off, but um, it's going to be um, theory, then it's going to be their theory stuff, and the underview, then it's going to be the rest of my offs, and then the app substance. You're just grouping all theory? Yeah, yeah, so it's going to be theory first, like it's going to go on the app and go back to the app. If that makes sense. Let me, let me open the document first. Because you said to skip the second off, right? Yeah, I just deleted what was there. Okay, you deleted it? Yeah. Um, so, sorry, order again is theory, the rest of the offs, and then case on the advantage? Yeah, or the framework, but yes. Okay. Give me one second. Yeah, give me one second, too. That's fine.
first off, is the interpretation of the arguments about fairness of education. The negative to violate must be read first in the affirmative speech to clarify the arguments that you have at the top case where all substantive arguments text over sphere at any point is that <gasps> sphere of the interpretation is arbitrary, or arbitrary and the judge intervenes to determine whether this viewpoint collapses the text of the interpretation that we all know the sphere through the text sequence sphere of the interpretation that you resolve because we have <gasps> both different inflections of the sphere not be the violation. They don't read spikes on the top so you stand one strategy. I have a spikes on the top. I don't know how to, to do it until I make a strategy. Something that I always violate one spike two in text, even the average huge in theory is not out of violate be time until straight off the side force spend happy starting my strategy. See guarantees theory based less predictable ground now to substance education. I understand the parameters of their strategy and each of the theory allows better debate and the layers since you we went over and miss more time thinking with substance strategy relation also independent reason the votes and the ultimate goal debates open the substance my interpretation key to we rules is always get the rule back and type by the game outweighs and so always the effects is outside the round meta theory outweighs the constraint on your ability to be original shell and indicts the norms that justifies drop the beater if one is the turn to be so arguments will be read if you use the whole bound people's logic has already been a substance evaluation so you have to drop the beater and compensate that for no after that no every eyes are all though there are logical and logical limits tests and other arguments you should have went for being fair and rbs and encourage the f theory and collapse along counter reason every single round we keep using competing interpretations not reasonability a point reasonability is arbitrary it's known here by the kind of shifting as people in the judges to intervene so you make a right line see what it collapses because you it, sorry, it, 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 it collapses because you can't see the paradigms to determine whether or not the right line is good down there shell don't violate it. Don't, don't vote in extended interpretations. There's no verifiable ways to determine if that was in a speech stack or read in the original speech. Which means they don't have a textually consistent interpretation. They'll say they're repeating cross examination, but you can't verify the flow. And CX is unverifiable. CX is unverifiable. Now they violate their own interpretation screen to show that you didn't disclose this at 30 minutes before the round and you said it was new. You're going to say, oh no, it's only your previous broken position. So that's nowhere in the interpretation. Even if it is, you still didn't disclose it 30 minutes before the round, which means that it violates, it violates textually. Now I meet your shot. I meet your shot. Everything I read is on the wiki. I only disclose new positions in the docs. You do that. You do that too. I in LHP 70s. I went NCA. So you Plato NC. That's Plato NC on the wiki. Your interpretation is infinitely regressive because you're always just going to ask people to disclose more and more things that are on the wiki in a weird ways. This is not a reason for I should lose the round. It's literally just a reason why my disclosure practices can be marginally better. Additionally, so I, I solve all the abuse. I'll just change my practices and do it in future rounds. Solves your abuse uniquely because it's an out of round thing, but doesn't solve mine because it's an in round. Now, reject disclosure shells, even if they're non verifiable, because those screenshots could be fake or hacks. People in jurisdiction, judges have the jurisdiction to vote if it's out of round. So, your evidence ethics stuff, no, all the cards are there. You can just go back to the original thing. Same with pre round prep. Again, you still have the fact that the fact that my prep is marginally harder doesn't make it that doesn't make doesn't mean that I should that doesn't mean I should lose me marginally so making the debate marginally harder for you. Additionally, critical thinking outweighs the impact runs because if the debate is marginally harder, you'd be better to debate in first because on tech issues, when we link term tech issues, opening larger documents more likely to crash the file and smaller ones. Two full text solves because you can just look at the you can just look you can just look at what the, the thing that the thing says in the site box. Now, no one air theory, eight point to eight point you have two air to line out all of your arguments you auto in it's infinite abuse if you can seven six times you no after infinite abuse, eight point the answer react and only so much abuse you can do. Eight point you should be better after compensate. Now um you say after you confer to know this flex leads infinite abuse you have an infinite out of three arguments that automatically lose on this argument. Now they say no theory on the argument, but they get this infinite abuse and they read automatic argument arguments and they say they can't because they need to prove abuse, but obviously every three arguments will prove abuse. They say new to your response to the tricks, even if there's no bright line the trick is, if you put this in abuse because they can just win the round new to your arguments. They say amount of abuse always norm setting, norm setting outweighs. Eight point, it spills over empirically proven people stop reading out from your race. point controls the internal link to whether or not something is in round abuse in the first place. And see, it's a nor, it's inevitable because voting on a shell will inevitably cause some sort of rounds. Now the second off. The standards consist of the logical consequence of the resolution for this one text Oxford dictionary defines audits used to send something to probable audits defines success logical consequence by my barrier web search you need a definition choice you have to find on they want to see the value but not think so they forfeit the right to be a new definition it's like reading a brand new youth framework the one day hour so NC strategies they promise by engagement on your lack of definitions we debate ability more acts not like odds not got an action because in order to make moral decision you must know everything about a particular situation you must act immediately in the face of injustice allows otherwise you learn justice occur there's something impossible if you don't anything about your situation be there's there's be there's not infinite be there's not infinite time make an ethical decision given us liberation of any religion or should correct relation situation very declaration of balance you learn justice occur you're you allow the proper knowledge to address the injustice for real education. It doesn't matter what the observators go into. All jobs benefit from being able to predict future criteria. Being able to predict future trends more important than the context tax expectations. Following mental certain kind of decision making predictions involve the really discovery of college relationships that alter perceptions to gate lack of inheritance because the app on habit, which negates other standards. Either a the app is not inherent. You have a negative assumption. Be it's not what's going to happen. Not going to happen. Not no kicking out of your app. See, I can't debate against myself. You read the card. You put its academic Aussie violations. You the card was bad before you read it. No Xenos pure rocks jump. Any cause out is impossible. So we can't even divide the causation between any events, which means that it's impossible to confirm. Now, for, third off, you told morally repugnant one because the only consequence of the actions. Are good or bad, you tell just twice worthy conclusions, and no state of affairs can be a trend for bad in of itself. That's Valentine of Six. If consequence of true that any action of the maximizes good consequence for miscible people, and the action is morally permissible, it's more right, and such a more reason of action. P2, the, uh, the value of the consequences always exists in moral relation. P2, the value of consequence only exists in moral relation. That's action is principle, but maximizes the consequences of the action. Cut out the, the, the head of the certain rights and made out of French on interest. You can't simply lump together, trade it off, you never recognize. Cut out the Venator card. Now, the two impacts one proves the framework logically false, and so we have a strong intuition that certain things are wrong. It's always on scope since it's accepted across moral systems. A higher probability of truth than one ever to morally overcome the arguments of a voting issue. Make people feel unsafe in the base that's a psychic trade having to be in the first place. That's the alternative to drop the major central debate means a safe space for all for all across by the accessibility voting issue. Four five. Do naked extinctions that will for nuclear future like event the Afghan solve sterling eighteen. Misses of nano claim is construction self replicating robots either the bias or constitution living assimilation get shut down high violence will living in a simulation to be used up seeing the probability badly programmed super intelligent mistakenly all these subgoes
Jesse saw the presence of Earth slowly survive when humans at the Himalayan plateau of the Earth could be populated out of the north of the Central Islands of Hostile Contact through a nuclear winter to unfold. The islands remain surrounded by warm ocean, local volcanoes from island refugees have life on Earth, so I think Snowball Earth, Eternal Link, and Dustrial Civilization win recovery on now 15. We've already consumed most of the rain cool oil fossils are central to the organization of modern society. You can't smell metal, make glass, and advise artificial fertilizer without, uh, without fossil fuels, corruption, presupposed efficiency, turbines, loss, and ventilation flaps. What does it say? The knowledge won't be lost and impact one particle acceleration causing lack of disasters that ways of magnitude, circumvic, sand, and combustion. 10. Vacuum phase resistance, carbon from the fuel collapse, and I'll be using which humanity permanent destroyed pressure by biosphere, per disaster might be caused by higher than the vertical level of strictly vacuum phase transition, which could transform all of Earth's mass and strange matter, accidental production of a mini black hole. It's catastrophic, and it'd be enormous. We impact you, future tech reasons, infinite torture, but always death, or should that give her 18? We can imagine the ability to cross my government, bad, hacker, create AI for the goal of torture, and maybe even better humans make them feel more suffering. 6 off. Counterplan the governments of the world after we live on an isolated island, after pulling in 100 people, refugees, all their impacts, and not always back to 10. Building a refugee house, civilization, recovery scenarios, refugees, not survive, alien invasion, one AI, refugees have limited use in this case, very long term. I don't remember the damage, refugees, do not address, do not address, do not address, do not address the problem, do not address the problem, most possible, sick refugees would make you very likely to have a community extension, destruction, malvoids lead to extinction, and specifically nuclear war, catalog 18. Preparing to survive nuclear war, we met a society established as positive, but positive survivor, large scale nuclear war, survival, human species, survivor, high probability, looking at systems, mount weather, and she had mountain only quick modified two years of operation of outside support, cut out the other stuff. Now let's go into case. Give me news from responses to the AC under view and theory show even in not complete arguments until implicated in one ARB, but otherwise you can be infinitely abusive and accept one on one argument needs to automatically win around now. Negative use justified by attributes. I'm only commenting and reacting to what you did in the one AC, which means that any reason I'm abusive is your fault because I'm adapting to your strategy and YouTube classes with motives and views as pain and pleasure are butterflies no idea these motive states and individuals class from expressing different ways means only expression desires allow for fulfillment of those principles that negates every motive judgment index for individuals and motive sentencing every full universal this means resolution negates into no emotion that can apply to a universal ethical claim to access why the after not for the resolution of statements that not too bad but expressions now YouTube classes of particular judgment are Connection to every situation because you do can't counter will condemn any actions. Anything might be pleasure, but it goes instance. The answer of four. There is no one set of pleasure that justifies each that each of us means to learn one of them has a certain chance. We can apply the principle do not care. There's no further one to be the amount of dying in hell. Subfence the issue of the premise of the field that the gates the absolute universal obligation that says new to bad in every circumstance and possible under universal particular um un universal particularism. Yeah, that's it. If you want, I can just tell you what I didn't read because I only cut out three cards. Uh, yeah, it wasn't mine. Um, that specifically nuclear war thing, right? Just... I cut out the last two cards of the counter plan and the second card of Benetton, and I read everything. I the second card of the use okay, and I read everything else. Okay. And then anything, all of the Uto or the Dancy 04 card you didn't read, right? The what card? Dancy 04. I did. No, I read Dancy. Yeah, that was the last thing I read. Okay. Uh, good for cross. Yes. Okay. Um, what do you mean by you'll concede the internal link scenario? Sure. I'll concede that nuclear weapons right now are going to cause India and Pakistan to go to a nuclear war. However, I'm impact turning that and saying under util, an Indo-Pak nuclear war would be good. Sure. So that's the industrial society DA. So yeah. the argument is that future tech means human extinction is inevitable. If we keep progressing, um, nu Indo-Pak nuclear war would send the humans back to the Stone Age, but we would survive. For sure. I guess the question is, why does industrial civilization not recover? Sure. So what this... Card do you read? Sure. I read this. The argument is... The card, the card is literally titled, Industrial Civilization Wouldn't Recover. Yeah, um Sure. The warrant of this card is it says that there are two reasons. First, um, industrial civilization and building an industrial society relies heavily on fossil fuels because you can't just leapfrog to renewable energy sources. However, we've always already consumed the easily accessible fossil fuels. And second, the technical logic, the technical knowledge would be lost in the collapse, i.e. like we would. Sure. A civilizational collapse, i.e. if India and Pakistan. That is literally what the dissad is. The dissad is, we will concede that nuclear war is devastating, it's really bad, but it doesn't cause extinction, and it sending us back to the Stone Age is a good thing because that avoids a future extinction event. Sure, you still haven't answered the question, where does it say that, or where do you read a card that says that the app scenario will send us back to the Stone Age? That is literally your evidence. Like, okay, sure. um, the... On the first talk, uh, are you just saying that the theory has to be at the top of the doc? Yes. Okay. Um, the third off, uh, what's the offense on this? The, the use okay? Or, or the second off, sorry. The second
second off? Sure. So this is a burden NC. Basically, it says that your burden is to prove that the resolution is probable, and my burden is to negate that the resolution is probable, because ought is defined as probable. So you need to prove that it's probable India and Pakistan get rid of their nuclear weapons. I need to deny that it's probable they do that. However, given that you say it's happening now, but they're not giving up their nuclear weapons, that means that you auto negate. Uh, sure. Which definition do we under the Oxford link? I read both of them. Uh, there's like four definitions in the link. Yeah, sure. So I read two definitions from different dictionaries to show that this is a definition of ought. Then I, A, say the neg should have the ability to define ought, and B, say that pragmatically this definition of ought is the best one for debate. So those are the debatability and real world arguments. Okay, cool. Um, what? Uh, framing mechanism do you weigh the disad in? I'll use start Sure. So all the disad uh, happens, it, it's under your framing mechanism. So you link to the K? What do you, wait, no, I don't link to the K. That's ridiculous. Like, I'm saying that you till the gates. Wait, 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 wait. wait. framing mechanism does the... The K links back to you till, the, the DA links back to you till. I do not sit, endorse you till in the 1 in C. I say if you till is true, that justifies voting negative. Your norm would justify that debaters could like never call people out for problematic frameworks if that framework was like super well justified because they just couldn't read offense under it. Like obviously I can read offense under your framework. That doesn't mean your framework isn't still bad. Also, I propose an external standard of evaluation that isn't util. It's like reading turns. Like, my model of debate is LogCon, and I'm reading turns under your framework. There were no RBIs. I explicitly said no RBI. Was there a counter interpretation on the spec shell? The spec shell? They're on the disclosure shell. Yeah, counter interpretation, converse of the interpretation.
and then from there, it will be the disadd encounter plan. And then it's going to be the theory debate. Okay. Are you sending out any new cards? No. Okay. okay. I'm in so, mute myself. What? I'm in mute myself. Okay. So I'll repeat the order again because it's a bit messy. Um, it'll be case, then framing, then the util K, then the uh, disad and counter plan, then it will be the 1AC shell, the, uh, the first off, and then the, uh, the second off. Okay, I'm gonna mute myself now, I'm good whenever. Okay. Yeah, just, just make sure you sign first because there's a lot going on. Yeah, I know. Super messy. Okay. Is everyone ready? Interpretation of the debate must 
post on the NDCA with, uh, with the odious 30 minutes of world around the entirety of their constructive speeches. They gave no counter interpretation. But there, there, their counter interpretation was the converse of the inter. Oh, this is completely incoherent. There's no way to understand what this actually means. They, they don't get reasonability to this. Uh, they don't get reasonability to this. You have to extend the arguments that they completely disregarded into the end so far as the show of the evidence of things. It's impossible to check the guards. It's impossible to check if the guards were caught properly insofar as I don't know what they're actually reading. The other uh, documents don't solve for any of this because there's no way to actually check what they're reading. Insofar as the screenshots show that they're coding, posting the end, see that doesn't actually matter. And on rerun from it, it's no impossible means that it's due to education and trans. And on the tech issues, they still have their funds. They still have their funds. The argument that they're still uh, discriminating against low-income students. And um, if you put up the thinking algorithm, it doesn't matter because we actually have to know what the NC arguments are to actually respond to them. And this is responsive to the evidence ethics. And they say the full text solves how this doesn't really. I don't know what NC read. And they're talking about disclosure being a. They're talking about disclosure like not. They're talking about just. Okay, wait. So, sorry, wait. Um, you're um, I'm starting prep. Starting prep now. Um, your last part like completely cut off. What was what was like the last ten seconds you said? Like something disclosure wiki. Oh, sorry. The argument is that you can check the wiki yourself, and the other argument is that our argument comes first because it's about three rounds of use, which comes before uh in Okay.
think that's prep. TOC prep is five minutes, not four minutes. Oh, prep is five minutes, my bad. It's fine, I don't need the full prep time anyway. Um, the order is going to be the Util K, um, the spikes on top shell, then the AF. Wait, sorry, can you repeat the order one more time? Util K. Um, spikes on top, affirmative. I'm ready. I'm ready. This round is going to be super easy to resolve. They basically dropped an entire reps kit, completely dropped an entire theory shell, and dropped like seven responses to the theory shell that they're going for. Now I'm going to go for the use. Okay, the thesis of this case is going to be that just because you don't understand something doesn't mean it doesn't make sense. You can see the Valentine evidence, which says that you don't justify morally repugnant things as far as impossible for something to actually be bad in and of itself. For example, racism is never bad under utilitarianism. It's only bad contingently when it produces bad consequences. I.e., the action of slavery is not intrinsically bad in and of itself. Under utilitarianism, everything is contingent upon the consequences, so slavery is only bad when it produces bad consequences, which means that utilitarianism can never say things like slavery are always wrong. This was completely hinted in the Valentine card. I'll literally read the card. It specifically says, quote, individuals have certain rights that can't, may not be infringed, and quote, an action is morally permissible if it's supported by insistent reasons for actions, i.e. value of the consequences. Literally was in the original card. Now, you can see that accessibility is a voting issue in a prior question to anything in the round, including fairness and education, since we wouldn't adopt since it's a prior, it's a prior, question, it's a prior question because we can't determine who's winning the debate. If people are felt made, made feel unsafe and inaccessible, engaging in the debate space means the K comes before any theory arguments. Now I just need to respond to your one or two responses to it. First, you said make this argument why death is bad. Why death is bad. No, this is a response to the Benatar evidence. I didn't read the Benatar evidence. I explicitly cut it. Second, you make a you link argument. One, this argument was never dictated offensively. Just as a reason why it's not unique. Don't allow them to go for this a new perk on two AR two. I don't like. I'm responding to your framework. I, I read a different framing mechanism for substance. There's logic on. I'm being turns under util. This is incoherent. Debaters be turns all the time. Third, this justifies infinite abuse. Means we never call out problematic things because the baiters are being because the baiters put themselves in the gen lose round. For example, imagine a, a norm under their world where people when people read like five forty maybe like one sentence of Utah offense, people can never call Utah racist because it's just blatantly unstrategic to not read turns, which means that you lead to more abuse in the debate space. Four, your abuse is worse and outweighs on strength of blank. It outweighs on outweighs on strength of blank as far as you're presuming the theory is ethically true. Well, I'm saying it's bad. Fifth, you conceded that negative abuse is justified by active abuse from the underview, which means that even if it's the case, it's just terminally non unique. I'm just adapting to when I see this. Also, the negative use is justified by after use thing just takes out all of your offensive disclosure because it proves that me not disclosing was just justified by, by, the, by the fact that I'm negative and compensating for the innate fact that I'm reactive to what the affirmative does. Now on spikes on top. Even if you don't believe in winning the YouTube okay, they literally can see the entire meta theory shell. Seriously, this was completely not responded to. Extend the interpretation of all arguments about fairness or education that I could violate this the first and they turn to speech. Extend the violation. You didn't read the spikes on top. I'm gonna extend the strategy argument. You can see the absent spikes on top. I don't know what I have to you, I don't know what I have I don't know what I have I don't know I don't know what I'm not allowed to do or I have to do until I make a strategy. So I always violate one spike. This means that this means that this means that this means this means that I don't know what I violate until the end of the speech. So it prevents me from creating a strategy. That's excuse over the negative. Even if you believe this is margin fair marginal fairness violation, it was completely dropped. You've conceded Neg theory is dropped in later competing interpretations and no RBI. Now you can extend the meta theory is first, lexically prior. This means that any risk of the meta theory shell on the fairness layer is just sufficient to vote negative right here. Insofar as you can see that if fairness is a voter, it's a side constraint in resolving the rounds. Meta theory is a side constraint on all theory arguments because you can't determine who is winning their original shell because it wasn't at the top because that itself was abusive and hindered by ability to respond to it. Now let's go on to the AC. Insofar as an entire theory shell and rep scare can see, the only way you can win this round now is off of this F theory shell. It's too bad that you're getting absolutely dunked on on the counter interpretation on the entirety of the debate. First of all, you've conceded that you should you can't vote on disclosure shells. You can see that you reject disclosure because it's because it's it's, 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 it's it, you can see that you reject disclosure because A point the the, the, the violations are non-verifiable because they could have been hacked or distorted, and B point it's, you can't you don't have the jurisdiction to vote on an out-of-bound arguments. His only response to this is check the wiki, but that just specifically proves the judges don't have the ad that just begs the question of whether or not judges have the jurisdiction. 
restrictions voted out of that argument so it's blatantly intervention when you dropped arguments specifically as dropped arguments specifically out of the one and see now specifically out of the one and see specifically out of the one specifically out of the one and see now here's the biggest framing issue on the shell which is going to prevent you from winning it oopsie you conceded and you violate which says that you didn't this was explicitly said insofar as you can see the text of the interpretation comes over spirit of the interpretation because spirit of the interpretation is unverifiable you have conceded a you violate which is that you did not disclose this speech to this speech stock on the wiki 30 minutes before the round their response to this in cx which they didn't make in the 1ar and you shouldn't allow them to do in the 2ar was just oh i'm not negative but it doesn't say that in the text of the interpretation which means that you violate your own interpretation which means that you violate your own interpretation so at best it's just terminally my unique condition if you win that perf cons are a voting issue that's a reason to drop you too because you also did a perf con additionally you can see that extended interpretations can't justify a rule can't, can't, can't justify a rule and so it's non-verifiable what was written there it means that your interpretation is completely non-verifiable as far as we don't know what the end of the interpretation is we can't follow it as far as you can see a norm setting out ways the only good argument you have on this debate is the converse of the interpretation is incoherent but a point converse of the interpretation is best coherent it's the opposite of your interpretation and b even that would just mean that our arguments are equally incoherent so you can't vote on this theory shell and c you can see that i get new to an responses so i'm just gonna read a new to an our counter interpretation counter interpretation negative doesn't have to disclose every position in every speech document i can the un new to our responses completely conceded because otherwise they can have said one blue argument to be the exact round solves your offense now let's go and i'm gonna respond more to the substance of the shell um Okay, on this shell proper. You, the only way, the only, the only argument that you could possibly, the only argument you could possibly win on is this pre-round abuse comes before in-round abuse argument, but A point, there was no warrant for this argument, and B point, the in-round abuse is a side concern on resolving the pre-round abuse. And so far as you can see, medica theory comes first, this means that my theory shell is a prerequisite to determining who is winning this layer. Additionally, insofar as norming is a voter, it doesn't matter, insofar as we're weighing between them. Also, my arguments are rejecting the disclosures that the judge doesn't have the jurisdiction for a pre-round abuse. Now, in the substance of the shell proper, oopsie, you can see a defensive response to the evidence ethics standard and the pre-round prep standard, which is that all the cards are there. I, you can still verify the cards because they're on my wiki, even if you have to look marginally more. You can see that trust because you have to look more doesn't justify. It's an actually abusive thing. Trust that the abuse is not unique. Look, this is a really easy round. Reps case conceded. The perf con argument makes no sense because it was just turns under you till they conceded an entire meta theory shell and meta theory first, and they've conceded like 50 responses to the 1AC shell. I said accessibility comes first.
able to check the evidence graphics of the negativator and the activator before the round, and so far this is not possible as I don't know where their arguments are. You can look towards the screenshot and on their wiki when they just say the MC, I don't know which MC they're talking about, it's true that they have a lot of them. Furthermore, there's always small variations to the MC shell, meaning that they're never disclosing the exact document, meaning that disclosing the exact document is key to actually seeing what evidence they're reading. The second point is three round prep, so that I have to know where your arguments are in order to respond to this. This is completely irresponsible for the critical thinking argument because it proves that the affirmative debater, in order to have critical thinking, needs to have coherent and a three round prep. Any other only response to this is just that you have to look harder. However, I literally don't know what any of these are talking about, and it's impossible to prep for these. It's impossible to prep for the 50 open source documents on their page, and they don't resolve, they don't address any of the tech issues insofar as they're discriminatory towards low income debaters who don't have the technology to open literally every single box because it will crash the computer, meaning that free round prep is literally impossible for some people. We agree that accessibility should come first, meaning that the tech issues and free round prep are the first things that you vote on. Now, um, now, they say that I conceded a violation, however, this was implicitly argued against the spirit of the tech, meaning that I don't concede it so far as I disclose all previous constructives on my wiki. I need my own interpretation and they violated or resolving zero of our arguments. They have no other offense on the shelf, they just talk about the converse. Like, they have no other offense on the shelf, on the, um, clearance, but you force them. Similarity with a round is that pre-round abuse has to come before literally 